coming up. Lizzie has to scale the heights. <laughs> and who will win the Limbo Challenge? Welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island. I'm JK. Hiya, I'm Joel, and you've got to believe me when I tell you that this is the island where the all-exciting adventures never stop. And today's no different as our teams continue to do battle to win new players and make their escape. Scorpion Island is tough and unpredictable. Over the next few weeks, Team Sting and Team Claw will be tested to their very limits to find out who's got what it takes to escape the island's clutches. But Sting and Claw are not alone. The island is holding people prisoner deep in the jungle. Each day, the island selects some of its captives to compete against each other in the Limbo Challenge. The winners will be offered up as human prizes. Having watched the Limbo captives compete, the teams must each select one captive. Sting and Claw then do battle, and the victorious team take home their prize. Ultimately, the team with the most members has the best chance of escape. Thank you. So far, Claw have four team members, but Sting are in the lead with five. So it really is all to play for. There's no second guessing what's going to happen on this mysterious Scorpion Island. But one thing is certain, every day our adventurers face tougher and tougher challenges and meet them head on. And today is definitely no exception. Take a look at this. Deep in the heart of the Scorpion Island jungle, a puzzle board is suspended high up in the branches. This challenge will see the adventurers catapulted seven stories high to take the puzzle on. They'll need to be quick thinkers and have a real head for heights to stand a chance of coming out on top. So our adventurers are taking on another breathtaking challenge. And if they ever want to escape, they really have to work as a team and stay focused. But it's tough taking on the island, so let's see what our adventurers have been up to so far. Last time, Team Sting won their challenge on the terrifying Fear Fall and claimed Lachlan as their human prize. How are you feeling? You're out of limbo. I am feeling as happy as I have yet. Lachlan is a power player too. This means that Team Sting can now use the power player full start in any game from now on to stop Claw from succeeding. When we got Lachlan, he was a power player. That was super because... Um, it was just it was just a level playing field again and we were back up there winning and that's what Sting does best. Keep an eye on the power plays as our teams race to escape from Scorpion Island. So at the moment, Sting have five players and Claw only have four. Who will join Team Sting or Claw from Limbo today? Over at Team Claw, Ayla was happy to be picked to play Fearful last time. But since playing the game, her confidence is wobbling. I was a bit upset at the end because I felt bad because I let down our team because um, I, I think I could have done better. I think Ayla was feeling a bit upset with herself that she lost it but it wasn't exactly entirely all her fault. Ayla felt like really upset that she's let the team down, so I just said I'm going to have to put a smile, smiley face on for her. So I just went up to her and goes, it doesn't matter, we've got loads of other challenges left, and then that cheered her up a bit. I knew I could have done better for the team, and we might have still had a chance of winning. 
Claw are also discussing how different personalities in the teams cope with winning and losing. Uh, team Sting, they hate to lose. They're very, very competitive. Yeah, but you've yeah. got to lose, though. You, you win and you lose. That's just Yeah, I, nice. that's just part of it. Yeah. 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 I, can th I can think of one in particular that really hates to lose. Yeah. This Cameron. person. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Alex. Yeah, I'm thinking really? of Alex. Yes, yeah. yeah. he, he got so angry and he gets, oh, yes. you're overreacting. Meanwhile, Team Sting are celebrating their win, and they haven't got a care in the world. Well, we're going swimming, and we're hopefully going to get in the rapids. This has been a brilliant day. We've got everything that we could in a day, and it's just an aw awesome day. Awesome. Well, we've been swimming after a hard day's work in this river. It's just fantastic. It's like it has like a, a waterfall right there, and it's just it's great. It's so much fun. But over in limbo, life is tougher. Everyone wants a chance to get out. Livy is convinced that if you wear a white helmet in the games, you're guaranteed to fail. Us in limbo all think that when you're stung white, it's a bit of a jinx and you'll lose. Because everybody who's been stung white has always lost in, in the challenge. I've, uh, I've performed in two challenges and lost them both. Um, but white has never won a challenge yet, so we're thinking it's a curse. So who will carry the white mark of the scorpion today? And will they be lucky or not? So Sting and Claw need to up their numbers by winning captives from Limbo. And remember, the final challenge is all about strength in numbers. But it's up to the island and the stone of selection to pick which Limbo captives will be chosen to compete and impress Sting and Claw. So who will be up for grabs this time? Hidden away in the dark jungle, it's a mysterious clearing. It is the home of a mound of rocks with amazing powers. This is the Stone of Selection. Each day, the Stone of Selection will choose a handful of Limbo captives and force them to compete for the chance to join Sting or Claw. But living inside the stone is something dark and twisted. This is what happened at the Stone of Selection last night. Come on in, Limbo captives. As you know, this is the Selection Stone. When the island is ready, you must place your hand inside the stone. If you are marked by the scorpion, it means you will take part in the next challenge. The island has until the timer runs out to make its decision. You may only remove your hands once you've either been stung or the timer has run out. So who really is desperate to join the team? Kai? I'd rather be out of Limbo instead of Claw and in Claw and Sting. It's much better in there and in Limbo it's not very nice. The island is ready. And Limbo captives, you must place your hand inside the stone. Lizzie was marked blue. Who will be next? Oliver marked blue. You have been stung blue. You got another chance to get out of limbo. Yeah, uh, I feel really good that I've um, uh, got another chance to get out of limbo because I didn't convert the other two to wins, so it's going to be good. For a third time looking? Yeah, I hope so. Good luck. Amy, marked blue. Livy, marked white. The colour that she feels is cursed. Alex, marked white. 
and Kai marked white. So the island timer has run out. Jack, you've not been chosen. First time I haven't been chosen. And I'm fine with that, because three times in a row I've done a challenge. So for everybody bar Jack, you have a chance to get out of limbo. So you must now go back to camp and get prepared for the next challenge. Good luck. So, in Above and Beyond, Oliver, Lizzie and Amy will be pitted against Livy, Alex and Kai. One of these Limbo captives will be joining Sting or Claw at the end of today. But are there any power players inside this cage? We'll find out later. Meanwhile, in the heart of the Scorpion Island jungle, Sting and Claw are getting ready to watch the Limbo captives in action. So then, Sting, first of all, what are you looking for in your captive? What do you essentially need, Olivia? I think the brain power could be one thing that we could improve on. Right, Claw. Jake, first of all, you're surrounded by girls. How's it been? It's been all right so far, luckily. So, a limbo captive, would you like a guy in your team, maybe? Yeah, for some strength and some more speed. So then, who is the island offering up this time from limbo? Out of the six Limbo captives playing today, there are two power players up for grabs. Livy with head start. On her first day, she was marked red, the sign of the power player, and was told to keep it a secret. Head start. This power play allows Livy and her team to start a challenge before her rivals. This power play will be a great future advantage. The second power player is Alex. With his power play, Freeze. He was also told to keep it a secret. Freeze has the ability to stop time. On his command, the opposition must freeze, at which point the rival team must stop dead for 20 seconds, allowing his team to catch up or streak ahead. Livy and Alex can only use their power plays once they've joined Sting or Claw. The teams will be desperate to win a power player, but their identity is a secret. Right then, Limbo captives, you know the drill. Livy, Alex, and Kai, you're going to be competing together. And Ollie, Amy, and Lizzie, you will be competing together. Now, individually, you need to impress Sting and Claw because potentially you could be chosen for their team. Can you see any weaknesses around you? Alex is, um, uh, well, he's very quick to be argumentative with people in some challenges. Yeah. Uh, I think that will certainly help Lou. If, mm, if anything gets, goes wrong in, on White's sort of side. Alex, can you see any weaknesses? Not particularly that I can think of, because they've got, they've got a good side, I think they'll work together well, but let's just hope they fall apart in some places. <laughs> <laughs> Are we feeling confident? Yes! Let's see if those skills will help them in today's Limbo Challenge. In the heart of the Scorpion Island jungle, there are two mysterious puzzle boards marked with different coloured scorpions. Each scorpion starts covered up and the teams must uncover them from both boards. If they get a matching pair, the covers can remain off. And whichever team uncovers all of their scorpions quickest, wins. It's a real test of memory, but this is Scorpion Island. Nothing is straightforward. One of the puzzle boards is suspended way up in the treetops, over seven storeys high. So the adventurers will have to be catapulted up using the weight of a water-filled barrel. But the barrel is leaky, and when it loses the adventurer's weight in water, it will shoot back up, sending the suspended adventurer plummeting down. There's no time to waste, so if the teams want to win, they're going to have to get a move on. Right, guys, it's time to talk tactics. Away you go. What I think we should do is we have, should have one person opening the um, trap and one person shouting, shouting out the colour yeah. to Lizzie. Remember, Oliver has been given a few chances to escape limbo by the island. 
He's a natural leader, so it must be very frustrating for him. He's determined that this time will be different. Uh, I think over the challenges, I've proved to the Sting and Claw, although I've lost, that I do have quite a few good aspects of uh, my personality that uh, could help both teams. So uh, I feel that in the next challenge, <laughs> it's always the next challenge, I'm going to um, uh, try my best uh, and really win. Because okay. otherwise it will get all confusing because there will be two people going blue, red, yellow, orange. Okay. Oh, wow. okay and you need to like, yeah. picture yeah. a thing in your head. Picture so if, if you remember, yeah. it's a bit like snap, yeah. isn't it? So just remember it. So don't take your time, just like orange. Remember that that one's orange. So if we call out orange, you go, oh yeah. And then, it, yeah. And okay. The door don't worry if it doesn't, if it isn't a pair, just move on to the next one as soon as possible. Right, so if, if I'm up there and I, and I get a pair, I'll shout down to you what it is. But if I don't, I'll shout down for what the colour is, so then if you can try, if you remember, oh, if it was, if I said down, no, it's not red, it's green, you could, like, remember where green was, so I'd know where that green was up there, yeah. wouldn't I? And if you knew where green was, we'd all get a pair straight yeah. away, wouldn't we? So we pick ours, then you pick yours, and then we shout at each other. What it is. Not shout at each other, well, shout at each other. Yeah. Who wants to shout? I'll shout at you. I'll take the stamp. Yeah. I'll you take the stamp. You take the stamp. You take the stamp. You take the stamp. And you shout back. Yeah. OK. OK, guys, enough talk. All right, it is time for action as we prepare to play Above and Beyond. Our limbo captives are ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Lizzie's up first. I bet she did not expect that. Will it throw her off? Let's find out. White scorpion! Red scorpion, no match! Red scorpion! Red scorpion, match! Yep, they're away. That's their first match. That's three no matches in a row for the Blues, but they are collecting information, so long as they can keep a mental map of the board, this could be valuable groundwork. Light green scorpion! Light green scorpion match! We've got a match. White it's good, it's scorpion! all about memory. White scorpion no match! White scorpion! White scorpion match! Yeah, this is good. Oliver's good. Oliver Not is communicating well and he's being really loud. I think Ollie's doing really well. He's excelling here in this one. That's the Blues' fourth match in only 11 guesses. It's a really good success rate, but can they keep it up? Orange Scorpion! Black Scorpion, no match! Because this whole thing depends on what you Blue Scorpion, no match! No match. Dark Green Scorpion! Yeah, Ollie's trying really hard and trying to listen really loud so she can hear clearly. You have to be saying what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's that's all. Yellow scorpion, scorpion match. These three have got great memory power. Two matches in a row. Great stuff. They're up to eight. They're halfway there. She's not opening all the different ones on the bottom. She's opening all the same ones all the time. Yeah. Blue scorpion no match. Blue scorpion. Blue scorpion match. She's doing really well. They're all doing really well. Black scorpion. Black scorpion match. That's three in a row, taking them to 12 matches. It's amazing stuff. The mental maps must be so clear. Yellow scorpion! Black green scorpion, no match! Well, it sounds like they're doing really well communicating. Listen to that, totally in sync. Great teamwork. 
I think, I think Lizzie's doing really well, and so is Ollie and Amy. Get a Scorpion! Get a Scorpion match! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Hi. Yeah! They've done it! That's all 16 pairs. They have beaten the barrel. Now will the Blues still be smiling after they've seen what the Whites can do? They've done it. Now, that was truly impressive. And now, well, she's got to get down. Well, it was really, it was one in a lifetime opportunity to do that, and that was really, really fantastic. That was, like, the greatest experience of my life. Our next set of Limbo captives are ready. Three. Two, one, go! What a rush! The barrel's down, Libby's up, she looks happy, but the Whites have still got to match 16 pairs. If you're nice, if you're nice, oh, open the them! Blue Scorpion, no match! Red Scorpion! Black Scorpion, no match! There really is no time to waste here. The water is gushing out of that barrel. Match. Red Scorpion! Match! They have one match. They're not coming for us. No match, what? No. Dark Green Scorpion! Go on, Livy. I hope this team does well, She's well. trying to keep calm, isn't she? White Scorpion, no match. So I can't come on. The other team did so much better. Light Green Scorpion, no match. This is a bad start for the Whites. Alex keeps on calling yellow, but if he'd listened, he'd know that Livy is yet to see a single yellow. Not only that, but they've both seen white, and yet they haven't matched it. I hope this team doesn't win because well, they are very <gasps> good. Light green scorpion! Light green? Yeah! Match! Dark green scorpion! Match! This is more like it. Great stuff. A real breakthrough for Alex. He's remembering what Livy's already seen, and he's given them two in a row. Alex seems to be shouting his heart. He wants it, you can hear it in his voice. This is smart stuff, and it looks like Livy's team talk tactics are really paying off. Brilliant work. That's a run of four in a row, putting them at seven matches on only 16 attempts. At this point, the Blues were only on five. Yellow Scorpion! Orange, no match. They picked up some pace. Match! Orange Scorpion! Yellow, no match. Do yellow! Yellow Scorpion! Match! What a team! The Whites are into a zone where they're remembering everything and they're getting the matches as reward. Scorpion! And just remembered what she did. has got a good memory. She, yeah, she does. She's got a very good mind. Red, no match. Do yellow again. What? Do yellow again. Blue scorpion. Um, white, no match. Oh, no. Have they peaked too soon? Alex seems to have stopped listening to Livy's requests, and it's all started to go wrong. No match. Orange scorpion. It's going to be very tight. It's going to be a few seconds. Match! Yellow Scorpion! Match! The Whites have pulled themselves together. They've refocused and they've got three matches in a row. They're up to 14. There's only two remaining. The big question now is, can they make those two final matches quicker than the Blues? Red Scorpion! Match Blue! Blue Scorpion! Match! Red Scorpion! Match finish! Yeah, great stuff! They've done it! They've beaten the barrel, and that seems fast. Let's hope we beat the blue team for one. Yeah. Here's Sting and Claw's reaction to the action. And up first, it's the Blues. I think Ollie's doing really well. He's excelling here in this one. Yeah, Ollie's trying really hard and trying to make it really loud so she can hear clearly. What a turnaround for Oliver today. Sting and Claw are recognising his ability and saying positive comments. In one false move, Alex from Sting wasn't impressed by Oliver's performance. He's very clumsy. In fearful, Sting thought Oliver wasn't communicating with his team. It's all down to Ollie again, isn't it? Ollie isn't like communicating with his team. 
But now it's a different story. But remember before you said Oli can't communicate? He seems to have picked himself up. Now the Whites, they're discussing Kai. There's nothing wrong with Kai. I just think we should go for someone different. So we've gone for Kai twice. But does Tara realise how important this is for Kai? He's pleaded to be released from limbo twice. I would really, really like Sting and Claw to pick me, so please pick me. And he's desperate to join the team. I really want to get out of limbo. It's, it's not very nice in there. Will today be his lucky day? Go Green Scorpion! Alex seems to be shouting his heart. He wants it, you can hear it in his voice. Red Scorpion! Match finished! Right then, it's time for the results. Now, both groups completed above and beyond. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. I'm crossing everything. Are you slightly nervous? Yeah. 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 Now, you both did incredibly well. I can tell you that one group of captives did it in 2 minutes and 44 seconds. The other group of limbo captives did it in 2 minutes, 29 seconds. Oh! That is very really close. The winners of Above and Beyond are... White. Yes! <laughs> How frustrating for Oliver. The first time that Sting and Claw have spotted his talents, and yet he's got no chance of escape. He's back to limbo. <laughs> So Livy, Alex and Kai won the Limbo Challenge and are now up for grabs as human prizes with a chance to join Sting or Claw. We'll find out more shortly. But for Lizzie, Amy and, yes, Oliver, it's back to Limbo. It's been another intense day here at Scorpion Island, but can Sting keep their lead over Claw? And who will win Ultimate Jeopardy and free a new teammate from Limbo? It's going to be an amazing battle. Next time, tensions are running high in Limbo. Alex, will you stop making horrible comments and Jack don't warn you of me either? Why are you going to be like that? And Sting and Claw battle it out in Ultimate Jeopardy. Orange Scorpion!